So I'm going to highlight the text and delete it by pressing delete. Now there's something else inside this div tag. Um, it's definitely not the margins or the padding. So let's go into code view by going to split. Okay, what we can see there is a header tag. It's a H3 header tag. So what I'm going to do is highlight the whole thing inside the code and I'm going to press delete. Look what happens when I click on the refresh button. Okay, the H1 header tag was uh, extending it out a little bit, so by removing it, it's closed it to its default value. This is the line of code that you get inside code view when you highlight the, the uh, div tag in the design view. Um, now, if we highlight the main content, we can see that it's highlighted all of the main content and the text that's inside the main content. So you've got an opening div tag for main content and a closing div tag with all of the text, the paragraph in between. Select sidebar 1 again, then click inside of sidebar 1 and then go insert image objects rollover image. Okay, it wants to know what we're going to call our first image and we're going to put in our home button first, so we're going to call that home. Now we're going to browse for the up image now by clicking on browse and we're going to go to our folder where we've got the images which was on our desktop and go into images and as you can see all of our up and over images our buttons are inside that folder click on home underscore up and click OK now browse for your over image and we're going to select home underscore over click OK Okay, so now Dreamweaver knows exactly where to find those images. Alternate text, um, it's what text is displayed whenever an image fails to load up. So I'm going to put home button. And uh, URL, we're not going to put one in here. We'll put one in, in the properties inspection. I'll show you how to do that. Now if you click on OK. OK, and there it is. How easy was that to do? Now I've just clicked on the home button and if you look in code view that's the swap image information that we've just ins inserted in Streamweaver using the interface. Right, let's preview this in a browser but first we're going to save it so we'll go to file, save all. If this is your home page name this index.html. I'm going to save mine to my desktop because I've got some plans for it after this tutorial but you should save it to the root folder that you're currently in. Now click on the preview icon which looks like a little globe and what that's going to do is preview it in your browser on your hard drive not online. And here it is uh, perfectly positioned exactly where we wanted it to be using the CSS styles and as I roll over it it does exactly what we asked it to do so that's fantastic. OK, let's go back into Dreamweaver. Now I'm going to click on the home button that we created. Uh, now this next part's crucial in the placement of the next rollover that we put into the div tag. So with the button selected, key right on the cursor. Now key in right has placed our cursor at the end of the ro last rollover image we created, but we're still inside the div tag for sidebar 1. Now go insert, image objects, rollover image, and we're going to do the next rollover button which is about us, and let's browse for the image, we're looking for about us underscore up. I'm just going to make these icons a little bit larger so you can actually see what we're actually uh, putting into Dreamweaver. Now browse for the over image. OK. Now press OK. OK, so there's our next image. Now I'm going to click on About Us and let's have a closer look at the code. Again, look where the cursor's been placed. It's after the last rollover image, but it's inside the div tag. OK, we're ready to put our next rollover image in place. Let's go to Insert, Image Object, Rollover Image. Now the next button I made was online store. So for the image name, I'm going to type in online store. I'm going to browse for the up image and the over image. So click on the up image, click on the over image and click OK. 
and there's our online store button. This is such an easy way of putting rollover images into Dreamweaver. And this tutorial teaches you how to adjust CSS and also go inside the code view um, to know exactly where you are inside a div tag. Okay, now I'm going to put in the last two images. Um, don't forget, every time you want to put in a new rollover image, um, make sure you click on the last one you put in and then write um, arrow key on the cursor keys. Now I've just put in a button called blog. Um, I've got one more button to put in. I'm not sure what it's called, so before I name it, I'm going to go in and browse for the image first. And it's the affiliate button. So affiliate up fill it over, click OK and look at that we've finished putting all our buttons in and we've done it inside 10 minutes ok so let's preview it in a browser this is the fun bit ok there we have it it's looking good, let's roll over it fantastic it's doing exactly what we asked it to do it's exactly where we wanted it to be brilliant 